I am Stitch, I'm seven years old, and my favorite Star Wars movie is Force Awakens. Hi, I'm Sparrow, I am ten years old, and my favorite Star Wars movie is Revenge of the Sith. And I'm Tony, their Disney dad. I'm 39 years old, and my favorite Star Wars movie is Empire Strikes Back. Welcome, Welcome to a special edition of Disney, Disney Discussions! Discussions. So, as you probably know, the Star Wars Last Jedi trailer was released on Monday evening. We have watched it. This is a special edition podcast where we're going to discuss the trailer, the new poster, and our time at New York Comic Con, too. Yeah. Yeah. There are going to be spoilers uh, just on the trailer. If you don't want to know anything about the trailer, you should not listen to this podcast. We'll see you next time. All right. First impressions of the trailer, Sparrow. It was awesome. Yeah? Did you have a favorite part? Hmm. Probably the last part. Where Ray's asking Kylo Ren for help. Hmm. That's cool. Do you think she's going to join the dark side? Either that or Kylo Ren joins the light side. Hmm. Interesting. Or Ray's trying to kill Kylo Ren. I loved it so much I think I'm going to pee in my pants. Okay. <laughs> Please don't do that. I have to wash your pants if you do that. <laughs> what was your favorite part, Stitch? Uh, the part that Sparrow said. Yeah, the end. Yeah. whole thing was really good. I really uh-huh. liked um, the Luke Skywalker scenes. Yeah. <laughs> he had more lines and scenes in the trailer than he did in the last movie altogether. Yeah. I really liked it. Uh, overall, I'm excited. Uh, yeah. I have a few concerns. Also, but in the movie last time, he didn't have... Any yeah, that that was the joke. Oh. <laughs> but uh, I have a few concerns. Uh, I was I'm a little worried about Chewbacca. Mm-hmm. It looks like instead of a person in a costume, they had a computer a CGI Chewbacca, which looked mm-hmm. a little funny. So I hope he's not like that the whole movie. But I did no, like the uh, pork. The pork is he's, funny. Here's my favorite. That's my favorite part. The pork. It was, like Chewbacca was like, <laughs> and the pork was like. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. I also like the look of it. Uh, they have a lot of red hues and blues. Like when it's Ray, it's blue and green. Yeah. When it's Kylo Ren, it's a lot of red. Mm, um, and like black. Yeah, even the poster, it's a lot of red. All right, let's talk about the poster. It just came out. It's a new poster. I really like the teaser poster that they had um, yeah. with them holding up the lightsaber. But this one's really cool, too. This it's got cooler. It's got Luke in front with the hood. He's got red and blue light on him. It's got Kylo Ren and Ray with the different lightsabers. It looks like the Ray's teaser. got a... A scar in her arm. The teaser is, um, instead of Luke, it's a pork in the hood. No, that was, so, somebody made that online. Oh, really? Yeah, they uh, put a bunch, of, I saw one where every person was replaced with a pork. <laughs> uh, which was funny. But it's got even the new character in there is Rose, which we didn't see much of in the trailer. No, we didn't see her at all in the trailer. I really like even underneath the words in the poster, you got the walkers, which look Really, really cool. Yes. Awesome. Um, yes. It's got the New the ships. ships that are mining on that red planet. The red dust comes up, and so I really like this poster. This is probably yeah. one we're gonna buy and hang hang yeah, up. Seriously, yeah, for sure. All right. So the trailer starts out. Looks like Kylo Ren. Is that Kylo Ren or is it Hux? I think it's Kylo I don't Ren. Know. It looks like Kylo Ren overviewing something they're building. Yeah, something being built. It Hopefully, looks- it's not another Death Star. Uh, 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 <laughs> no, because if it was another disco, they were probably, he would probably be looking out into space. Right. So that's, you know, a good beginning. Uh, then you see the sparks going from the construction. And then you see these walkers, which look absolutely amazing. It looks like they have I like love these walkers. Hands. Yeah, they have the, the hands kind of go. You're right, exactly. Looks like Gorilla. You got a ship that kind of looks like <gasps> Kylo Ren's spaceship. <gasps> Kylo Ren's spaceship from uh, yeah. Force Awakens. Kylo Ren has a, his own uh, TIE fighter this time. Yeah, like we'll, we'll, we'll get to that. Kind of TIE fighter. So it's got the walkers, and then they have this cool shot above. It looks like Kylo Ren is leading a bunch of stormtroopers yeah. on this planet, but it's a the you know the ground. You're looking from above, so the ground is black with the white stormtroopers. It's, it's really and, cool and red, looking. And red. Yep. Then you have Kylo Ren picking up his lightsaber with a red background. You yeah. have Snoke talking over this the whole time. And then Ray picks up her lightsaber, looks at it. Um, the Lucasfilm Luca logo. Film. Then you got the island that they're on. I forget the name of it. Where at the end of Force Awakens, and she hands Luke the lightsaber, and you see his robotic hand, and he's kind of. Hmm. Luke accepts. Yep. <laughs> and then you see her walking 
It's a lot of mist, some caves, looks like maybe some dead trees. Yeah. You okay? What was that? <laughs> that was my expression for death. Oh. Uh, and then there's a scene which Sparrow says he remembers from Rebels. I don't, but I'm, I believe Sparrow. They were He's... in like oh, caves yeah. oh, yeah, with Saw Gerrera, like walking around trying to... Uh, Catch that alien, remember? Yeah, they, they were trying to find an alien running around and they found Saw Gerrera. That was on... Um, that was a two-part episode. Yeah, but it was on the Attack of the Clones planet with the bugs you're talking about. Oh, yeah. Right? You think they go back to this planet? You think Probably. it's the same thing? Okay. Probably. It's got books. We've never seen a book in Star, Star Wars, Wars before, so this is the first time we're seeing a book, which and is interesting. Some might paper. Be the longest Star Wars. Yep. This is going to be... Yeah, there's rumors this is going to be the longest Star Wars movie. This is so, making Star Wars history. <laughs> yep. And then you got scenes of Rey training and... At the ground breaking and Luke looking surprised. He's like, what? Yep. And then he goes into the speech where he's seen raw power like this before. It didn't Here's scare him. It didn't scare him then, but it scares him now. Yeah. He says, I've seen this la- raw strength before. Once. Before. It didn't scare me enough then. Right. Now it does. Right. So I guess I think he's talking about Kylo Ren. Yeah. When he was training Kylo Ren. Because then it goes into scenes. We saw a flashback a little bit in Force Awakens. Yeah. With the Knights of Ren. So you see, I'm guessing Luke's robotic hand come up. Some kind of temple destroyed. Um, which kind of leads to what Luke said in the teaser trailer. Like, he wants the Jedi to end. Yeah. He's probably so afraid. We got some scenes of Kylo Ren. He's got, you see a scar. He's got like a band-aid kind of thing on yeah. his scar Covered to help him heal. Metal. Yeah, it looks like metal or something. It's cool. Then you got some spaceships blowing up, and this is where you see Kylo Ren's TIE Fighter, which is really, really cool yeah. looking, nice and sleek. It looks like he's going to kill Princess Leia in this one. Yeah, you got the first shots of Princess Leia, and it looks like he's aiming to destroy the ship she's on, and he hesitates. Kind of leaves it like that. Uh, we'll see what happens there. Yeah. We know that Carrie Fisher died, so Princess Leia is not going to be in the next movie. Then we got some scenes of the Millennium Falcon. Flying through something. I can't make. Do you guys know what that is? I can't make out what it I mean, is. It looks like the middle of a. Destroyed. Oh no! Look, it's, you know what it is? It's caverns in that in that oh. planet with the red dust. <laughs> you think you're on fire? Yep. And then you got the Porg yelling. Then you get Poe. into Poe and going into his X-wing, and then Finn, Finn fighting Captain Phasma. Captain Phasma. That looks really cool. Yeah. Seriously. Was, oh yeah. You you know you go back to First Awakens when he was fighting that stormtrooper with that lecture? Yeah. That's what he's fighting Captain Phasma with. All right, very and, good. And and Captain Phasma just has yeah. a dumb old BB-8. We got these cool looking wolves. Yeah, like ice wolves. In the snow, they ice wolves, really yeah. BB, it's like he just got electrocuted. Yep. Now when Luke says um, this isn't going to turn out the way you think it is, I think he's talking to Kylo Ren. I think that's a flashback. Because if you remember, it was destroyed. There was rain yeah. with the Knights of Ren. So I think this is a flashback to that. You got the wolves, more Princess Leia, so Ray in a pool. And then she sees Luke in a cave. I think this is going to be similar to Empire Strikes Back, where Luke yeah. went into the cave and fought Darth Vader. Mm-hmm. I think she's going to have some visions in that cave. I think. It might even be Dagobah again. Who knows? Yeah. Some more epic space battles. And then you have... A nice shot of Snoke. And it looks like he has his arm outstretched. And then it cuts to Rey kind of being tortured. Mm -hmm. I think that's Snoke using the Force on on Rey. Because you kind of see... Does anybody have theories who Snoke is? Yeah. If If you you think you know who Snoke is, send us an email. Podcast at DisneyDiscussions.com or comment below on the YouTube video. Let us know. Yeah. But you can kind of see... You see like the the yellow robes in the background where she's mm-hmm. getting tortured. It I looks like that... it looks kind of looks like Emperor Palpatine's robe. Yeah. A little. Well, like his that. was black though. It looks yeah. Like this like, is like, yellow. Yeah. It looks like she's getting forth onto a table or something. Something. Yeah. Yep. She's screaming, and then you have the scene where she's talking to Kylo Ren. It looks like his scar is healed by then. He doesn't have the bandage at the end, and it looks less severe, yeah. right? Yeah. She she's asking for help. And he outstretches his hand to her. And that's how it ends. Now yeah, I think... the last Jedi. Yep. Now I think it's a trick in editing. I don't think she's actually going to ask Kylo Ren for help. Well... I, I think it's going to be like Force Awakens was. Where they made us think that Finn was the Jedi and he had the lightsaber. Mm-hmm. And in the movie it turned out 
yeah. not to be him as the Jedi. So I think this is a little trick in editing. I think they're just trying to get us all no. riled up and wondering and talking it's about it on the that, internet. Mm-hmm. Or either Ray's going to the dark side, or um, Kylo Ren's going to the light side, or Ray's just going to kill Kylo Ren. <laughs> one of those well, three. One of those three. One of those four. Right. The well, option I said. Um, I think it's actually most likely Kylo Ren's going to the um, good side because he was trained by a good guy. Right. But then he rebelled and almost killed Luke. Yep. I don't know. And he killed his father. Uh, yeah. yeah. So I don't, Solo. Know. I don't know. I, I think don't know. Ray might be avenging his death. Maybe. We'll see what happens. So December 15th, we'll find out. We bought. I bought our tickets last night. Yay, yay, yay. So we have our tickets in hand. Uh, we got great seats in the theater by us. Good. So I am very excited for this movie. You guys excited for this movie? Oh, yeah. All right. Anything else you want to talk about, Last Jedi? Nope. Any theories? We saw pictures in other magazines about the casino planet yeah. and all those weird aliens. There's none of that in this trailer. We have it in the uh, the magazine Vanity Fair behind us right here. Yeah. Um, so there's none of that in the trailer. So I think there's plenty that we're not seeing. There's plenty they're not telling yeah. us. Uh, I'm really excited for it. Yeah. yeah. So now, let's talk about New York Comic Con. NYCC! Yep. So I went to New York Comic Con on Thursday with the Disney mom. And then I brought Sparrow with me. On Sunday with him and with some, of my, some of his friends. Chip. Yep, Chip went. Uh, yeah. And uh, some other friends. So what were your first impressions of New York Comic Con? What did you think of it this year? It was really cool. What was your favorite thing you, you did at New York Comic Con this year? Meet Jess Harnell. So Jess Harnell is a voice actor. He did Wacko. Wacko from Animaniacs. He does the voice in Dr. McStuffing, Sophia the First. Um, he does the voice of the fox in Crash Bandicoot. Yep. Um, he does the voice of Merlin, Mimo's dad in the video games. Yep. And he also does Wooten from Adventures in Odyssey. And that's what Sparrow's most excited oh, about, because yeah. we listen to Adventures in Odyssey all the time. He was super nice. Mm-hmm. He spent time, he autographed, he got a picture with him. He's really in a rock cool. band. He is in a rock band with other voice actors. Yeah. Uh, we saw props from Last Jedi yes. there. Star Wars, Disney had a whole booth there of all Star Wars props mm-hmm. from Last Jedi. That was really cool. We saw the Justice, Justice League suits, like yeah. Wonder Woman, Batman, Flash, Cyborg, Yeah, Aquaman. we saw those costumes. That those look cool. really cool. We saw the Spider-Man Homecoming costume. Yep. Yeah. We did. That Marvel was cool. Marvel was there. They had some cool giveaways. Cosmic yeah. Cube. Um, Disney Books was there. You oh, got. A, yeah. I know you got a Star Wars I book. I got a Star Wars book and then um, um, Everything You Need to Know About Marvel Superheroes Guide. Yeah. I got the Star Wars book, 40 Years and 40 Stories from a Certain Point of View. Yeah. I got that auto. We met Pablo Higaldo. So if you, watch, <laughs> if you watch Rebels Recon mm-hmm. on YouTube, the Rebels After Show... You know him. He's one of the main guys, story guys at Lucasfilm. So he signed a book. We met some other Star Wars authors. Mm -hmm. A lot of Star Wars stuff. Some really cool Star Wars statues. Yeah, yeah. seriously. Funko, you know, we talked about previously, Funko had some exclusives. We weren't able to go to the booth. We didn't win the lottery, so we weren't able to get them. But I found out later, Mm -hmm. a lot of those are going to be sold in stores afterwards. So they're like co-exclusives. So we could still get that Scrooge McDuck in the money that we wanted, right? The Harry Potter I wanted. Yep. The Harry Potter one. Uh, Lego did have an exclusive. Yeah, that we got it. Um, it's uh, brick, the Brickheads, Boba Fett, and then Han Solo frozen in carbonate. It's really cool. Yeah, it's very cool. Uh, what else from New York Comic Con? There are lots of crazy costumes. A lot of VR stuff. We didn't do yeah. much of that because you have to be older to 12. do that stuff. Yeah, 12 or 13. So we couldn't do that. Uh, it was more crowded. Yes. This year than last year is super crowded. Definitely. Yeah. Somebody said it was more crowded than Saturday. Yeah, which was unusual. Uh, a lot of cool costumes. What was some of the cosplay? What was some of the best cosplay you saw? I saw Ray from The Last Jedi, Couple Rays, yeah. uh, Harley Quinn's, Jokers. Yep. It. Doctor Who, we saw a couple It clowns, which was a little scary. No. Do you look? Oh, they're a little scared to me. We saw <laughs> Ghostbusters. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I saw a Slimer. Yep. Anything oh. else? No. I saw a giant Tyrannosaurus Rex blow up costume. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we saw a couple of big, uh, well, we saw a little Stay Puff Marshmallow, and, and we saw a big Stay, Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. That was cool. Yeah. You want to go again next year? Definitely. All right. I want to go next year. Yeah. We'll see. 
No, we'll see. It was a lot we of fun. We found some really old, like, action figures and stuff from, like, 2001 and stuff. I got two hair. I got, um, two Harry Potter figures. I got Sirius Black. Um, and then I got another Harry Potter. Yep. You'll see those. We'll be do- doing a YouTube video on those so you can see mm-hmm. Sparrow's finds there. So, Last yeah. Jedi, we're really pumped for it. Had a great time in New York Comic Con. Oh, yeah. So, this has been a special edition of Disney Discussions. Yeah. Star Wars edition. Star Wars edition. And NYCC edition. That's right. So, be sure to go back in the feed and look at our other episode. listen to our other episodes. Yeah. You can follow us on Twitter, at Disney underscore Discuss. We're on Facebook, Disney Discussions. Look for us wherever you listen to podcasts, Disney Discussions. We're also running a giveaway. Uh, we're giving away a book, The Disney Story. If you look for us look for us on Twitter and Facebook, you'll see links to that giveaway. Enter in. Maybe you could win the free Kindle version of that book. Maybe you could win. Thanks for listening. See you real soon. Hello. Hi.